Hello, Alan Faulkner here. This Azure Everyday video, we want to talk about the advanced threat protection for Azure SQL Database and specifically the SQL Vulnerability Assessment capability. SQL Vulnerability Assessment is an easy to configure service that can discover, track, and help you remediate potential database vulnerabilities. You can use it as a to proactively improve your database security. Vulnerability Assessment is part of the SQL Advanced Threat Protection or ATP offering which is a unified package for advanced SQL security capabilities. Vulnerability assessment can be assessed and managed via the central SQL ATP portal. SQL vulnerability assessment is a service that provides visibility into your security state and includes actual steps to resolve security issues and enhance your database security. It can help you meet compliance requirements that require database scan reports, meet data privacy standards, monitor a dynamic database environment where changes are difficult to track. Vulnerability Assessment is a scanning service built into the Azure SQL Database Service. The service employs a knowledge base of rules that flag security vulnerabilities and highlight deviations from best practices, such as misconfigurations, excessive permissions, and unprotected sensitive data. The rules are based on Microsoft's best practices and focus on the security issues that present the biggest risk to your database and its valuable data. They cover both database level issues as well as server level security issues like server firewall settings and server level permissions. These rules also represent many of the requirements from various regulatory bodies to meet their compliance standards. The results of the scan include actual steps to resolve each issue and provide customized remediation scripts where applicable. An assessment report can be customized for your environment by setting acceptable baselines for permission configurations, feature configurations, and database settings. So all of the steps to implement vulnerability assessment on the SQL database in Azure. Currently, I'm logged into my Azure portal. I'm looking at my advanced threat protection for my PW Insurance database. So quickly, just to follow how to get to that first. Here is I'm at my start screen for my Azure portal. You can see here that I have a couple SQL databases, a logical server, and a storage account configured. So if I click into my PW Insurance database, and just down below the security heading, we have advanced threat protection. If I click on that, it's going to bring me down to my advanced threat protection for my database of PW Insurance. One thing to, important to note about a vulnerability assessment and pretty much anything that has to do with the advanced threat protection capabilities are you need to configure a storage account where the scan results are saved. Um, to do so, you can, if you haven't already done it, you can just come here in settings and you can establish several pieces of information here. In here, you'll have your advanced threat protection server settings, which is where I have applied them. If I click this, you'll see that I have actually set up my storage account ahead of time. I've got my email set here to send me the notices of any advanced threat protection assessments that once, once that is uh, ran. So going back to our advanced threat protection, we simply need to look at several things. And in, in order to do the vulnerability assessment, we just click on the vulnerability assessment card here. And this gives us the latest scan results and reports track that security stature of that particular database. Since we already have clicked on our vulnerability assessment card, it automatically opens the vulnerability assessment settings card. And in here, again, under the settings tab, it gives me everything I need to know here. I've got my description, I've got my storage account that this is associated with. We'll talk about periodic scans uh, briefly and where I'm sending those reports to and the co-administrators of the account. So for now, I'm just going to close this settings blade. And we have already had several assessments run, or assessment scans run here. And as I mentioned, we've already configured this storage account. One of the things about the scans are is that it is a lightweight and safe. It takes only a few seconds to run, and it is entirely read-only, so it doesn't make any changes to your database or anything like that. So when your scan is complete, your scan report is automatically displayed in the uh, Azure's portal. The report presents an overview of your security state, how many issues were found, your respective severities, 
and the results include warnings on deviations from best practices and a snapshot of your security related settings, such as database principles and roles and their associated permissions. The scan report can also provide a map of sensitive data discovered in your database and includes recommendations to classify that data using the data discovery and classification feature we covered earlier. So when we review our results and determine the findings in the report and determine what issues we want to address, we can drill down into each failed result to understand the impact of the finding and why each security check to fail. So in this case, I've got some firewall issues that have been detected, potentially some permission type things that might be detected here. If I click into this, it gives me further information on some of the information around the status and potentially what I believe is one of the better features of this is certain remediation steps or considerations or recommendations. It also provides a remediation script on how to potentially uh, reset this and establish the right security in this sense around this firewall rules. And if I want to click here to remediate it, it takes me out actually out to these places in my firewall settings in this case to potentially set this uh, setting back up. For now, I'm just going to leave these as is. And just to demonstrate this as well, there's a what is detected as a security feature here. So that basically telling me what the issue is here in my description, potential impact. And again, it gives me the type of remediation steps that I need to potentially take. I can approve this as my baseline or clear this as baseline. If I establish this as baseline, this would pass on the next scan for the vulnerability assessment. As mentioned pre previously, you can set up periodic scans. It's simply as uh, easy as clicking on the settings gear and turning on or off the recurring scans. The way this works right now, it runs a scan every seven days. And once it runs a scan, it will actually send an email to me once those scans are complete. So here is an example of that vulnerability assessment scan on that PW insurance that occurred a few days ago. And again, this is just a summary of the scan result that was sent to my email address. I can also export my scan results of my report. And it's a, basically a downloadable Excel report of scan results. And this report contains a summary that displays the, the summary of the assessment, including all failed checks. It also includes a results tab claiming the full sets of results from the scan, including all checks that were run and the result details for each. If I want to look at my scan history, if I click on my scan history, it'll tell me when and how often this is run. The recurring is on the scheduled recurring scan and on demand is I ran that scan uh, manually. You can manage your vulnerability assessment using Azure PowerShell. Uh, you can use Azure PowerShell commitments to programmatically manage your uh, vulnerability assessments. Thank you for listening to this Azure Air Review video. Have a great day.